So we're getting closer and closer to the release of Zelda for the Wii U and the Nintendo NX, and we are getting more and more rumors as these things are approaching. I'll go ahead and start off with these Zelda rumors. You guys have probably heard them by now. One, it's going to come to both the Wii U and the Nintendo NX. Two, you're going to be able to choose between a male and female protagonist. And three, that the game is going to be voice acted for the most part, except for Link. So I'll just go ahead and say right off the bat that all these rumors are very plausible. Nothing seems to be like out of the you know, mind-boggling crazy here going on with these rumors. So coming to both the Wii U and the NX does seem fairly logical at this point, considering how far back the Wii U version has been pushed. It's nothing you know, that we haven't seen before. You know, we, We're all familiar with the Twilight Princess treatment. And I'm guessing if they do have it coming to the NX as well as Wii U, that the NX version might have some exclusive features, might run a bit smoother, which well, should definitely run smoother, um, you know, better draw distance and all that stuff. As for the um, able to, ability to choose between a male and female uh, protagonist, that I think is also a possibility. I think this is probably the most far-fetched out of all these rumors for Zelda on the Wii U slash NX, but it's definitely possible because ever since the creation of Winkle, They've hinted that they wanted uh, Linkle to be, you know, a protagonist and to appear in future Zelda titles as a main character. So this could be their way of introducing Linkle into the mainstream games as opposed to just having her only in Hyrule Warriors. The final third rumor is probably my favorite part of this is that there's going to be voice acting for most of the characters except for Link. Now, I think that voice acting will add some more immersion to the game make it feel more alive in the world in general and this is how I wanted voice acting in Zelda to be done like we're all in agreement we all agree that Link just should not have a voice because no matter who voice acts Link it's just not going to work someone's going to disagree with it there will be butt hurt there will be problems so if you voice act everyone else except for Link then that's a way to you know have your cake and eat it too have voice acting in the game but you know obviously you're not butchering your mascot for this ongoing franchise is on what it's uh, 30th anniversary now yeah something like that so moving on to the nx rumors there's quite a few here so bear with me so uh, it's going to be these are all rumors again nothing's a fact so 86 architecture that would make sense seeing as how everything else runs 86 architecture right now uh, backup data to a Nintendo server, most likely my Nintendo. So backup data to Nintendo server was all, just also makes sense here with the way the current gen gaming is going. Support for an additional screen, uh, possible Wii U backwards compatibility, or just you know maybe something they're trying out something new in general. Uh, can handle ports of current gen games? I damn sure hope so. That better be true. Uh, will interact with smart device apps. Uh, after seeing the launch of Mitomo and how Nintendo's kind of dabbling with the smart device area, uh, it's, this one seems likely. It doesn't seem too far-fetched. Uh, and using NX software will unlock my Nintendo reward points. That one uh, just seems like a no-brainer at this point. Again, with the launch of Mitomo, I've been playing that uh, a decent amount lately. Kind of like 84 friends on Mitomo. It's ridiculous. Okay. And here's a whole other page of rumors I have here. The retail name for the NX is unknown, blah, blah, blah. The one third-party developer. Okay, let me just skip to some other, like, actual stuff. Amiibo are still supported. Again, I damn sure hope so, because people spent a lot of money on it. I spent a lot of money on it. People are still going out buying Amiibos. Um, I don't see them going away in the near future. And Nintendo really needs to find better ways to implement them into games. But yes, I could definitely see Amiibo support continuing into this uh, NX. And let's see here. There are multiple gimmicks with the NX. One is optional. So it's implying that there's going to be multiple gimmicks that are forced upon us and only one is optional. That uh, could be a double-edged sword. I don't know how that's going to go. It depends on what it is. Knowing Nintendo, it might be something fairly obtuse, ridiculous, something we might probably not want to see. Uh, do, do, do. Don't know the model of the GPU, however, there's little doubt that it's probably AMD. Okay, yeah, so AMD is the GPU supplier for all the current gen systems, and it just makes sense that it'd be in the NX as well. I think both PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U, I think all of them have AMD 
GPUs. Okay, NX is capable of outputting 4K. Consensus is upscaling and streaming. Okay, there's no way this thing natively puts out 4K. Otherwise, it would take a lot out of our wallets, and it'd have a lot of power and crappy frame rate. So yes, upscaling to 4K might make sense. Uh, I don't know if that's for gaming. It's most likely not for gaming. Probably just limited to streaming and uh, a couple other things, but I don't see it upscaling games to 4K. And the, that's not the final part, but one of the last pieces, DDR4 RAM between 6 to 8 gigabytes available for the software. So that would be great. That would be absolutely not amazing. That'd be great to have for the developers as far as them being able to, you know, flex their flex their creativity muscles and have all that RAM available to them in game. And da -da -da, there's like something I skipped over because it had an edit. So friend codes aren't a thing. I would certainly hope not because it's not on the Wii U. We have Nintendo Network IDs now. But it says you're not going to be able to add people that you don't know. Or you can only add people that you know. So this, I'm guessing, is kind of an integration with like either Mitomo, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media. And it's going to do kind of what Mitomo does. You can only add people that are mutual followers with you on Twitter or friends with you on Facebook or some social media platform like that. And again, uh, I keep pointing back to Mitomo, but I think Mitomo is kind of like like us peeking into the window of what Nintendo plans to do in, with some of their future devices. So uh, go get Mitomo if you haven't already, play around with it for a bit, and it might give you some insight as to Nintendo's current mentality or like where they're going to go in the future. So I think that's it for this video. These rumors are looking promising. Again, they're all just rumors. Take it for what it is. And, you know, I'm not going to do my regular outro today. I'll see you guys later.